Meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Earlier, Pete had asked me to erase my memory of uh, yesterday because yes. it was so perfect. Certainly, we can't. But uh, today, you know, we really can't do that. But uh, today's not looking too bad overall. No, I mean, mid 50s, yeah. some sunshine mixed with clouds on a bad way to end the weekend. Uh, hey, nice, sounds good to me. Yeah, nice day to throw the football, watch some football. Watch me doing live pinpoint Doppler 12. All right. Even better. We start with that this morning. We're scanning the skies, not finding any raindrops or snowflakes. So I want to move on to Colt State Park. And this graphic will make more sense once I zoom into the correct location there. There we go. Here is a zoomed in view of Colt State Park right here in Bristol. Now we're in the low 40s, by noontime 51 degrees, and by 3 o'clock 54. Overall, skies will average partly sunny. There will be some pockets of sunshine, especially from the late morning to early afternoon, and then the clouds will stream back in once again. So a cooler end to the weekend compared to yesterday, looking at some rain for the middle of the week, and then chilly by the end of the work week. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. First, a look in Providence this morning. We have the Providence River right here, a little bit of sunshine glistening off Narragansett Bay, and the clouds are filtering out the sun this morning. 46 is our temperature. Winds are out of the northeast at 7 miles an hour. And this wind direction will be key in today's forecast, pulling in some of those cooler breezes. 48 is your temperature right now from Seconic Bay Manor and Tiverton. Bank Newport at 47. We're 42 degrees at North Bay Manor and Smithfield. And Greenwich Bay Manor and East Greenwich sitting at 48 degrees. So temperatures starting to come together a little bit more. I mean, this morning we had temperatures in the 20s and temperatures in the 40s, but now things evening out just a little bit. There are the pockets of clouds moving through right now. Notice there is some clearing over Connecticut. We pick up some of this clearing throughout today, and then the clouds will stream back in for the afternoon. They will come in from the opposite direction, however, as a backdoor cold front pushes on through. In fact, we can track that hour by hour. One o'clock, still a decent amount of sunshine, but the trend will be to pull in some more moisture and cloud cover by late afternoon. And again, those breezes will flatten out the temperatures in the mid-50s or so. In fact, speaking of those projected high temperatures... Here they are, 53 or high in Renford today, 53 Pawtucket, North Providence 54 degrees, and downtown looking at a high of right around 55 degrees. Same story for West Bay communities like Cranston and Warwick, high temperatures in the low to mid 50s, Barrington 54 and Riverside a high of 54. South Shore temperatures also in the 50s for today. 55 in Jamestown, not a bad day to head down to Jamestown or Newport. West Greenwich getting up to 54 degrees. And a beautiful fall-like cool day here in northern Rhode Island with 53 in Chapachet, Coventry 54 degrees, and 54 in West Warwick. Coastal Massachusetts temperatures in the low to mid-50s, 54 in Westport, 53 in New Bedford, Seekonk 53. Notice Plymouth is a bit cooler as these cooler winds come in directly off the ocean. Seven-day Futurecast brings in a chance of some drizzle very late tonight, probably not until after midnight. Some of the uh, sprinkles could spill into tomorrow, but most of tomorrow is dry. 55 is your temperature on Monday. Tuesday, a chance of a hit or miss sprinkle, but the best chance of the heavier rain would be Tuesday night into the mid-afternoon period of Wednesday. It's going to be a pretty mild storm system with rain and wind, though. You could see a high of around 60, so no need to be concerned over mixed precipitation or anything like that. Thursday, 52 degrees. Friday and Saturday, we are cooler. Right now, I'm keeping it dry. Initially, if you were watching yesterday morning, which yeah. I hoped you were, I had a few snowflakes and raindrops Thursday, day, Thursday night and Friday. I have since taken those out. Right now, it looks like that will not happen, but that could change, so stay tuned to TJ's forecast tonight. He'll have more updates, and you can always log on to WPRI.com for all of your latest weather updates. So, a uh, decent end to the weekend yeah. here, Danielle. All right. Thanks for the update, Pete. Yeah. And now we want to check on what is going out there.